Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five-minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. This week's devotions focus on the fruit of the Spirit. Today's focus is long-suffering. Galatians 5, 22 through 23 reads as follows. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Long-suffering is to be able to endure through hardships and suffering without a negative reaction. A person who suffers long should not show the wear and tear of their suffering. As a friend of mine often says, I don't look like what I've been through. That is not always easy. But when our focus is Christ and our focus is things of the kingdom. The problems and the stresses and the concerns of this world do not bother us the way that they bother the carnal person. And so, we should be able to suffer long. We are expected to suffer long, but because of Christ, we can go through the suffering and not allow it to leave evidence of the suffering. So, friends, I hope that you do not look like what you've been through. When people see you, allow them to see the glory of God that resides in you. Let us pray. Father God, we worship you and magnify your holy and matchless name. You alone are God, and you alone are worthy of our praise. Lord, maybe we have allowed the cares of this world to show in our living and our going through our day-to-day -day routine. And if so, Lord, we ask that you forgive us. Lord, look on us, anything that's not pleasing to you. We ask right now that you would take away. Lord, allow the world to see you in all we do. Let our words glorify you. Let our actions please you. Remember those in need today and provide for them. Lord, we ask that as we encounter people, that you will let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' holy name we do pray. Amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, please like subscribe, and comment. God bless you.